Alrighty everyone, we are back here for some more Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. You may be noticing, just like last episode, I actually improved Edward just a little bit. If we go down to crafting, I did buy all of the health upgrades and also a pistol um, pouch upgrade. So we're fully decked out now with four gun um, holsters and all of the health upgrades. Right. Let's go to our mission. Because my first ever playthrough a few years ago when this game first came out, I made the very terrible mistake of accidentally um, going through this game and not doing that. I learned very early on that that was a very bad decision. So I wanted to, I wanted to avoid that as early as possible. Also bought a few um, jackdaw upgrades, but nothing too major. Because that was also a mistake I made before. I think I just did it um, without even thinking about it. The fact that I know that you should probably do that. So yeah, so that's why that happened. So oh god, here's the island. Before we go over to this mission, I'm gonna go. Oh, hello. Grab that. And that's done. Before we go over to. I believe that's Thatch and Captain. and um, James Kidd. Um, before we do them. They go to this viewpoint, I think. Sounds like a good idea. It's done then. That way, off camera, I can come here and complete this area. Alright. What you got for me, boys? Proper defences. Okay. Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous, free, and out the reach of kings, clergy, and dang leggers. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the Faustin Nassau. Not a bad number. Truth. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not a twaddle again, Kenry. It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? Oh, I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussick, she is. Fat and slow. Locate El Aqua del Mesto. Mestro. Your jackdaw handles nice. Pinched her from the Spanish. Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil! Love! I reckon. Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, 
I must agree. We'll save the clash and the cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. Here she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't soil your breeches, lads. You got this. And the controls doing this with one hand, it's not easy because I'm trying to do something as well off camera. Probably shouldn't be doing it, but it's kind of important, but All right. Either way, I'm gonna go a bit forward. Around this way. properly seems to be some sort of ship over there gumboat start guess I'm assuming it's some sort of like man of war sort of like ship I'm assuming how how can you ah there she is that's probably her there there she is yeah it's a man of war and I'm facing the wrong way because they look like they're coming this way face to face with her hear that can wait leave your distance we'll strike when fortune favors her under cover of darkness most likely. Oh, you may come to that. Rock skies and rock seas there! Hold in the stun tool! Don't be clouded all on! Come on, the yard, that's the wind! I said, douse! Douse the four, hurry! Okay. Have to follow this massive thing. Spotted by that one. Yep, was detected. No, it would be. It's not easy to follow. It's not easy to follow it because you got to keep out of. Um, Alright. 
we go around this way. That way we can avoid this one at the very least. Do the same here. Just got just concentrating at the moment. Right. Charles is reckless as they come. An old friend of yours. Not a man I'd call a friend. But we've been doing oh, this God. so long, I can't help but respect him. More tour area. Window of thing and the war. Yep. Yeah. Just avoid the red dots basically. straight for this one. Use broadside to sink. Use heavy shots to sink. Templar. Named right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. 
And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder who's sailing or not. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that gun. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Okay. Oh, that's all mud. <laughs> right. Alright. Close knee. I was looking down when I was doing that. I do apologise. And there's a bit of cargo. A single madman. Okay. Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. The object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stomp and shout aye! Aye! Those who oppose, whimper nay! Never was the King's Council so unified. Okay. Stay out of combat. Okay. What was this? Bit of, bit of cargo. Oh, rum. Three priests of rum. Not bad. Alright. Got to climb, I'm assuming. Alrighty then. Oh god. Jesus Christ. that and we're up sweet good thing 
Ed was such a good climber, isn't it? Spanish. Spanish are here, so. There we go. I'll wait for him to turn around. Okay, reach the jungles, exit. Here we are. There's a chest over here. Oh, mini missed it. Two upgrades available. Sweet. Man, this place is actually beautiful, though. In all seriousness. This was one of the literally the first Assassin's Creed that was available on, um, oh, what was it like, next gen, which is now considered current gen. So, Don't know, understand how I got away with that one. Okay, get this guy close to me. Those two dead. If I keep running, I'm going to be able to get away from. Okay, air assassinate Ducas. Ducas. Oh god. Him, yeah. Okay, get him. Come out.
Okay, now I've got to think about this carefully. Don't ask me how that's considered hidden, but alright. Okay. Sneak around here. Okay, got his attention. Okay. Now we're gonna swim. Wait, have I already done the stay out of combat? Yes. Okay, just got to make sure this guy's not looking at me. Hey, okay, I got him. Remember the gift you gave me. Well, it answers just fine. Fist de putain! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenyi. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! What's this? His petty larceny, the extent of your ambition. Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world, without parasites like you. Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. Is ours! Sweet. Here we go. Force bit. Oh, and the end of the sequence as well. you were logging out so I thought I'd stop by and give you something a little welcome gift we give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work and they're nice to have since there's no official bonus scheme here I already have about 11 or so oh bonjour of course I'll pass it on well looks like Olivier wants to meet with you it's exciting follow me all right so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers. So we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. Go to see 
CCOs. Okay. Can't say I thought it was CEO. Okay, thank you. Meet this CCO. Well, well unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize your flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. Wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Lysia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family-friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? Yeah, it looks beautiful. The main reason I asked you here concerns is something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en I wouldn't bother. But some big wigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. Before I like to go on, I'd actually like to tell you that um, this view that we've got here is actually the view from um, Ubisoft's um, Montreal's um, from Ubisoft Montreal. So they're saying that Obstogo's lo this Obstogo location is actually, you know, Ubisoft, which is actually a really cool little detail. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. 
The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes, with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and, I'm told, proceeding with exceptional ease. Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Alright. And now we know what happened to Desmond. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby. Come on. See? That file you acquired, I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend that never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed through the side. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> now, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. Alright. I am not sure I can keep this up, you know? This job is well below my skill level. Yeah, well your copy is shit. You could use some practice. Oh, it's Sean and Rebecca. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And they pull Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. She's great, isn't she? Hey, I just got word the courier is coming gone. Wonderful. You're a miracle. No, 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 you must an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Doing a job. So thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun. Hire me. The question I want to know is how has these two not been caught? They've been doing this for a while. How the hell have these two not like not been caught going through everyone's stuff? Jesus. So that's a question I want to know. Alright. Oh, we got two more statues. Don't know who that is yet. Um, that's the governor, I believe. Oh, that's cool. That I think that was the um, bar that we started the fight at back when we were um, a few, probably in episode one actually. All right, let's go back in the animus. Are you going to market? No, I... My parents have asked me to come live with them. And I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Ah, uh, she finally left him. He still loves her, then. Wake up, 
family. Scratch about. He left this morning with the galleon, as faith will discover a good use for this old core of our sight. I will make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if you like. A little bit of fixing up would be a decent place to call home. I didn't convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. All mine honor. Let me know if you find anything. How'd you get all the way over there? Follow James Kidd. What's that? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings of the way. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. We're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Lamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound. Ah, oh, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? To see sounds and hear shapes. What a combination. I've had this sense most of my life. Only I thought it was related in some way to my dreaming or the like. Most never find it. Others, it takes years to tease out. But for a rare few, it comes as natural as breathing. What you feel is the light of life, of living things past and present, the residue of vitality, come and gone. Any man's senses can be tuned well past what he's born with. If he tries. All right then. You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen of them. This way. Something else to show you. A few dozen, so that's about probably 30. I found a few off camera, but. So there's. One here. So two. Three. Four. Five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. There's a dozen left. I think I did one on camera and one off camera. And now another one on camera. Here we are. What do you think? 
think? I think Monsieur de Cass is a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of de Cass, I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An iron maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Or a pair of anguish. <laughs> Whoa. Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducas. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here. They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. All right. Oh, so there's quite a few there as well. Okay. And the thing is, I kind of know who that suit belonged to. Because, like, what, the question is, what's it doing there? That's the, my question. If you know the character, then you know it's a bit weird why he's there. But... All right. But we'll get to that sort of stuff at a later date. Can I go up and do this viewpoint real quick? Island from a bit. Okay, if I do that and get in my ship, should push me a bit closer. Costume does. Oh, come on now. The pirate's kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self made man. But well, that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, 3 minutes latitude, just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. Alright. And off it goes. But that, unfortunately, is where we're get, probably going to end it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.